about that base, unfortunately. I have none. It, it was great having you. No, it was fantastic. You, you got to come back, okay? Anytime. All right. We'll see you all later. Okay. Good night. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm Right now, save up to $4,000 off 2015 Suburbans and Tahoes at Burdock and Chevrolet in Mission. Choose for more than 1,500 Chevys on the lot today. Drive a 2014 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab for just $28,995 with GM owner loyalty and trade assistance. We shop the competition so you don't have to, but hurry in because these deals are going fast. At Burdock and Chevrolet, Ryan Road, and Expressway 83 in Mission. Dolly Goss. A border patrol involved shooting leaves one dead. We're taking you straight to the scene. And a man is found dead on a sidewalk in North McAllen. The breaking new details just into Channel 5. A lot of clouds around the valley today. Even a few showers in the area. Tomorrow, things change again. We'll check your first one five forecast. The Channel 5 News at 5 begins right now. From the Valley's News Channel, this is Channel 5 News at 5. More information just revealed on a deadly shooting. A Border Patrol agent shot and killed a smuggler 15 hours ago. Yeah, the feds are now talking about what happened in Star County. We followed this headline all day. Broke the news this morning through our mobile app. It happened around 1.30 this morning in Chapeño, that tiny community west of Roma near Falcon Lake. Yeah, and according to the last census, 47 people live there. The community is not even a tenth of a square mile. Yeah, and as you can imagine, folks who live in Chapeño are shaken up. Our John Bartell has been with them all day. He is live with Sat5. John? Yeah, guys, we are out here actually at Rio Park. This is located just south of Falcon Lake. I want to take you over here. This is the campground here. It's a popular fishing spot. Well, it used to be there. If you take a look at there, there's not a whole lot of activity here, and that's because of the illegal activity that's in this area. Now, park owners tell me that uh, the Border Patrol is doing um, a lot to protect this area, but if you go outside of the compound here, that's a whole different story. Take a look over here. This is the Rio Grande River, and this is where a lot of these drug smugglers are crossing over. Now, just upon the over on the distance here is Guerra, and this is a small Mexican town that's over there. Now, the park owner tells me it is very dangerous over there. There's been several times when there has been, he's heard shooting over there. He actually uh, brings in some of his tenants that actually come over here, and uh, at Guerrero, this, this uh, small town is called Guerrero, and... Um, they actually hear a lot of gunfire in this area. He actually brings some of their tenants uh, on his roof to show them the, the gunfire that's going on over here. Now, this, uh, if we go to some video now, I want to show you, this is, uh, the, this is some, of the, some of the areas that, uh, that is a really big uh, response out here that's uh, seen um, a lot of illegal activity. And that's because... Um, they are crossing the rivers, getting into some of these brushy areas, and then they are uh, just uh, about a half a mile from here. There was a Border Patrol uh, agent that, sh that actually shot uh, a smuggler just, uh, just up the road from this area. Now, uh, I just talked to park, the uh, park owner up here, and he's telling me that uh, they start to see a lot of this area. Let's go to his soundbite right now. Well, every once in a while, they get pretty rowdy here on the other side. And from my understanding, what it is, is the cartels fighting with each other for routes and territory and so forth. And now, a lot of this illegal... Now, a lot of this illegal activity has actually uh, reduced a lot of the tourism in this area. It's really hurt his business. Now, tonight uh, at Channel 5 News at 6, we are going to take a deeper look at how some of these residents live and work out in this area here. It can be very difficult for them, so that we're going to take a deeper look at that. Live out here uh, in Star County, John Bartell, Channel 5 News at 5.
Meanwhile, the U.S. Border Patrol says the agent who fired those deadly rounds is on administrative leave. We're told he's at home. The smuggler, we're told, was an illegal immigrant with a criminal rap sheet here in the U.S. The Border Patrol tell a press conference just a few hours ago, and they told us the shooting stemmed from drug smuggling operation this morning. Detection monitors like sensors or cameras saw a group of people bring about 800 pounds of drugs across. While well, agents seized the drugs, arrested four of the smugglers. The fifth one refused to go down without a fight. He pulled out a gun, shot at the agent who fired back. This is the latest smuggling attempt in Star County. Particularly in this area, you know, narcotic seizures uh, since the beginning of the fiscal year, October 1st, have increased you know, roughly. We paid close attention to Chief Oak's statement. Channel 5 News dug up information about drug busts in Star County. We questioned the feds for an explanation. Rather, We're working to bring you that report for 6 o'clock. And like we mentioned to you earlier, we broke the headline on the shooting through our KRGV mobile app. Any iPhone or Android user can download it. Stay up to date with this story and others by heading to our website at krgv.com as well. Now, new details on the body found in McAllen early this morning. A passerby discovered it near the intersection of 6 and Xenia. Channel 5's Michael Scott is working the story. We go to him live outside the McAllen Police Station with new details. Michael? Oscar, police first reported this as a homicide. Chief Victor Rodriguez just briefed the media about an hour ago. He says preliminary autopsy results show no signs of foul play or that this is a suicide. Now, Rodriguez tells us the man was last seen around 11 last night and was intoxicated. Investigators traced the man's tracks and found evidence that he was stumbling. They also found evidence that he was coughing up blood. Now, the man was found just three blocks from his home. Rodriguez also says a toxicology, a toxicology report was ordered. Reporting live outside the McAllen Police Station, Michael Scott, Channel 5 News at 5. Across the valley today, clouds have moved back in, and temperatures, well, they've stayed in the 70s. Take a look. This is where we are right now, 73 to 74 degrees. Winds out of the southeast about 18 miles an hour, so a little gusty today. Even seeing a couple of light showers out there. We'll track those showers and take a look at the changing First Warn 5 forecast coming up in a few minutes. A computer containing the names of thousands of patients is in the hands of a burglary suspect. Harlingen police working to track both of them down right now. The crime was caught on camera. Harlingen police say a man burglarized Sunglow Home Health near the expressway and New Hampshire Street a couple of times on Monday morning. Police say the second time around, the suspect broke into the building and then walked out with a computer. On Channel 5 News at 6, Steve Solis will explain more about the computer and the investigation. A federal agent entered a guilty plea in an insurance fraud scheme. 38-year-old Reynaldo Gonzalez admitted to sending a false claim to the Aflac Insurance Company back in 20, 2009. Rather. The deputy U.S. Marshal entered the guilty plea in a McAllen court this morning. Gonzalez was previously assigned to the Southern District of Texas. In submitting the bogus claim, he used a physician's signature and identification tax number without the physician's knowledge or approval. Sentencing is scheduled for April 23rd, Gonzalez faces up to 20 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. All new at 5, the illegal sale of gasoline, a growing problem across the border. The Mexican Association of Gas Station Owners says organized crime now accounts for up to 20% of gasoline sales in Mexico. Stratford says Mexican authorities seized about 75,000 liters of stolen gasoline along a highway in Jalisco State. Stratford is a global intelligence and advisory firm based in Austin. They tell Channel 5 News fuel on the black market sells for as little as five pesos per liter. Per liter. The average cost of a liter of gas that you'll find at a Mexican gas station is around 13 pesos. We continue to press for more answers on the sale of a public park in Brownsville. In November, city commissioners voted to sell Lincoln Park to the University of Texas. City Attorney Mark Saucy tells Channel 5 the UT Board of Regents approved a sale amount. However, the city is still working to out iron out the details of the sale, including the price tag. The city is trying to present a potential counter offer. They're also negotiating how city assets inside the park would be moved. A lawsuit filed by two Cameron County attorneys against the sale of the park is still moving forward. No court date has been set. 
An update to a headline we brought you yesterday on Channel 5 News at 5. A Harlingen alleyway is finally dry after months of flooding. The alley is now covered with caliche. Crews dug up six inches of mud across 60 feet of the alley, and then they worked to cover it. This was the same alley we showed you yesterday. Neighbors say they could not even drive through it. They were scared they were going to get stuck in the water and the mud. So we called the city of Harlingen and the waterworks crews pumped up the water. They're now searching for a possible water leak. We're told they have not found one yet, but they're gonna keep a close watch. The shadow of crisis has passed and the state of the union is strong. With two years left on his time in office, President Obama spent last night laying out his vision for the end of his term. So how is the GOP taking the news? And investigators released more information on what was going on with Air Asia Flight 8501 right before it crashed. In two minutes, what the new data is showing. We'll be right back. Breaking news, breaking stories. This is Channel 5 News with Oscar Adame. Melissa Correa and First Warn 5 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. This is Channel 5 News at 5. Come to FAMSA and get ready for the big game with the latest in TV technology. 40-inch Samsung 399, 48-inch Sony 599, 55-inch LG 1299, 70-inch Sony only 1999. FAMSA, close to you. It's Truck Month at Payne West Leco Chevrolet. Get $10,000 off MSRP on new 2014 Chevy Silverado Double Cab Texas Editions from your Valley Truck Commanders. We have what you want. Look at do get it regardless. It's a Valentine's Cajun Fest on February 14th as the Edinburgh Rotary Club presents their all-you-can-eat, all-you-can-dance, beverages galore, biggest, best, and most Cajun-feeling celebration in the Rio Grande Valley. Saturday, February 14th at the Edinburgh Hotel and Conference Center in Edinburgh, featuring the River Rock Band. Fun begins at 6 p.m. live auction at 9 p.m. Money raised will fund important community projects including scholarships, youth development, RGB food bank, and more. For tickets, call Edinburgh Rotary at 383-3823 or visit CajunFestEdinburgh.org. I've been growing grapefruit as long as I remember. You can say I grew up in these groves. That's why HEB came to me to find the best grapefruit in Texas. Like this Rio Star, the soil, sunlight, and climate help them grow to perfection. It's so sweet and juicy, every bite will make you smile. You won't find another place in the world that can do it better. We send HEB hundreds of thousands of pounds of these beauties each year, and they always come back for more. I'm Paul, and this is the best grapefruit in Texas department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Roll into the new year in a new Nissan. During Nissan's 2015 event, choose from 15 models with 0% financing for up to 60 months, plus up to 3,500 cash back. Or get 0% APR on Pathfinder for up to 60 months. But hurry, the excitement may last, but 0% on 15 models won't. Shop at your local Nissan store or choose Nissan.com. Innovation that excites. Come to FAMSA and get ready for the big game with the latest in TV technology. 40-inch Samsung 399, 48-inch Sony 599, 55-inch LG 1299, 70-inch Sony only 1999. FAMSA, close to you. You know, Oscar, in the President's State of the Union address last night, President Obama took credit for the economic recovery and he offered up his vision for his last two years in office. Fresh off the speech, the President hit the road to promote his agenda. His first two stops, Idaho and Kansas. While Obama is reaching out to red states on his tour last night, he struck a more defiant tone. We can't put the security of families at risk by taking away their health insurance or unraveling the new rules on Wall Street, or refighting past battles on immigration when we've got to fix a broken system. And if a bill comes to my desk that tries to do any of these things, I will veto it. It will have earned my veto. House Speaker John Boehner said the president's speech was full of fantasy land proposals and veto threats. 
In the latest ABC News Washington Post poll, President Obama's approval rating hit 50%. That's up nine points since December. Well, yesterday, we reported that uh, investigators might come to this conclusion. Indonesia's top investigators said today there was no sabotage or terrorism involved in last month's crash of Air Asia Flight 8501. The country's transport minister says the plane's radar data shows the plane was climbing at least three times faster than a normal ascent. Then it stalled and then plunged into the Java Sea. All 162 people on board were killed. When an airplane stalls, especially a swept wing, it can end up spinning, and that spin may be unrecoverable. Right before the plane disappeared from radar, the pilot asked air traffic control for permission to climb to avoid a storm. The approval was delayed because of heavy air traffic. Investigators say there was no distress signal. The plane's black boxes are in the hands of Indonesian officials. Clouds are thickening up across the valley. Even a couple of showers showing up. We'll look at the radar and talk about the changes with tomorrow's front with your first one five forecast for La Gloria, La Blanca, Santa Maria, and the rest of the valley. That's coming up next. Pizza Hut, 11 bucks. That's right, any Pizza Hut pizza, just 11 bucks. Enjoy your classic favorites like pepperoni and supreme or explore new flavors with pretzel piggy for friends, family, or just a night in. Pizza Hut, 11 bucks. Driving in Texas is the best of times. And Ford gives you the best view. With features to help you put your best foot forward and find your best route. Now get 0 for 72 plus 1500 bonus cash or up to 2500 cash on escape. Best wishes from your Texas Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. STARS has helped me so much with finances. It's difficult for my parents to have to pay for school and even just basic necessities. Star Scholarship has helped me financially be able to buy books and just make it easy on my family. Instead of having to work a part-time job, it's given me plenty of money in order so I can focus on my studies. I can focus so much more on what really matters because Stars is always there to help me out. Change. It starts with you and me. Apply for the Star Scholarship Fund today. One brand. Trusted name, Bert Ogden. Service, selection, savings. Save up to $12,000 off a new Cadillac CTS. Come discover a new standard of luxury ownership at Bert Ogden Cadillac Mission. Dale gas. You know, I've been doing this 40 years. It's about people. It's not just about numbers, it's about people. When my boys came into business, one thing I told them was, if we don't earn the business, we don't deserve the business. You need to go out and earn the business. Do the best you can, do everything with integrity, do it the right way. And I know the only way to be successful is to please our customers. And you thought the good old days were gone forever? We're still here. Mott's Cash and Carry Building Materials. This is different. This is really different. <laughs> Pizza Hut fans, are you ready for this? Great pizza and awesome wings. Some things just go together. And at Pizza Hut, we get it. That's why we're giving you a large pepperoni pizza and eight wings for just 16 bucks. Now that's something to celebrate. Pizza Hut, make it great. And now, First Warn 5 weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. Hey folks, for a change, we're looking at the Doppler network again. We're actually picking up some isolated showers showing up. Skies are cloudy, but underneath that, actually a little bit of rain. One pretty good shower here just to the northeast of Los Fresnos between there and Bayview is just forming in the last few minutes. They're all light. This one's got a maybe a brief downpour in it, but that's about it. Over Hidalgo County, this stuff's pretty widely separated. For the most part, it's just a cloudy day, but a few showers briefly interrupting that day. If we look at Sky 5 right now, looking westward on Sky 5 from here at our studios in West Laco, and you can see the clouds are pretty thick. A few sun rays trying to break through that, but not much. For the most part, it's overcast, and it's going to stay that way probably until at the earliest late Friday before we'll get much sunshine back in here. So let's go to the maps. Let's take a look at things one step at a time. We're going to start with temperatures, except the island. We're in the 70s, the island cooler at 66. Tonight, we stay in the 60s pretty much all night long. It's a mild night across the area, perhaps even some patchy fog. And then tomorrow, more clouds and sunshine. 
And as the day goes on, probably a few showers, you notice the green color is beginning to show up. That's a sign the front's probably going to come in during the afternoon. In fact, 74 ish, that's going to be an average high. Lower Valley is probably going to get warmer than that tomorrow because the front will get there last. So a little warmer in the lower valley. But once the front goes through, temperatures will fall and we won't get above the mid 50s on Friday. And then we recover back to 60 on Saturday when the sun probably will make an appearance again. Your satellite and radar together, lots of clouds and again, spotty sprinkles. And you look at tonight, isolated shower, certainly a possibility and a little bit of light fog will show up later tonight and early tomorrow. As the day goes on, spotty showers begin to show up. Our front slides through, I think, during the second half of the day, probably late afternoon and then by late tomorrow night and into Friday, I think we're just back to clouds again. But with the front tomorrow afternoon, there could be a thunderstorm. Better chance of just some rain, and then a little rain lingers into Friday morning, but after that, I think it goes away, and we're dry from that point on. So you see we go 40, 30 dry, and this 30% on Fridays in the morning, I think the afternoon we should dry out by then. Bigger picture shows it's down to 60 in San Antonio, 55 in Del Rio, 43 in San Angelo, 44 in Lubbock this afternoon. You look up here, right now it's rain, but to the north of that, snow and a little wintry mix in the panhandle. It's going to be messy up there. We just have a few showers. We're mild tomorrow, much of the day. Front comes through, the chilly air builds in by tomorrow evening. Look at the snow in West Texas. That goes away by Friday. We dry out by Friday, and I think Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we've got some pretty nice weather coming with temperatures still cool, but some sunshine each day. 64 tonight, a little patchy fog, spotty showers, winds out of the southeast. Tomorrow, 74 for a high. A couple of places might get a little warmer than that, especially near the coast. Spotty showers tomorrow afternoon. 74 and falling tomorrow, 57, much colder on Friday. We bounce back to 60 on Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we're right around 70, which is pretty close to normal for this time of year. After early Friday, I think our chance of rain's gone for the next five days at least. That's your updated First 1 5 forecast. All eyes on the New England Patriots. ESPN says a team used deflated footballs in Sunday's big game against the Colts. By how much were those footballs below NFL standards is next. Wow, Lax has a whole house full of furniture for just $19.99. You get this eight-piece bedroom with $400 mattress set allowance, five-piece living room, and five-piece dining set. Save over $765. Now at Lax. Gilling guy rule number 490. Can I help you? Uh, just a few shots and I'll be done. Excuse me? I'm updating my page with some cool pics. I can't afford a new car. Gilman has payments that'll fit anyone's budget. That way your friends will have something real to like. Ooh. Right now at Gilman Honda, lease a 2015 Honda Civic for just $159 at Gilman Honda in San Benito. Gilman, big enough to serve you, small enough to know you. Gilman guy rule number 490. Like us for savings. Gilman, it's the way to go. Experience the Magellan International Car Fest January 23rd through 25th at the Magellan Convention Center. The largest car show in South Texas. Admission free for children. 174,000 square feet of fun. Over 300 vehicles on display. From classics to muscle cars, exotics, and more. See the celebrity cars. Dukes of Hazards General Lee. The Grand National from Fast and Furious 6. Enjoy the Road Skills Test Track. Kids Model Car Build-Off. Live Entertainment and more. Magellan International Car Fest. With the cars of the stars. Tickets at Ticketmaster.com or Magellan Convention Center box office. Go to MagellanCarFest.com. There's never been a better time to try Time Warner Cable. With HD content you love to watch virtually anytime, anywhere. Ultra-fast internet at the speed you need. An unlimited nationwide caller. All together for the first time for $89.99 a month. Plus, enjoy big Hollywood blockbusters from Epix. Now with free installation and TV equipment included. That's a savings of over $900. Try it, love it, or your money back guaranteed. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Shop Bird Ogden Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Harlingen today and save on more than 400 cars, trucks, and SUVs available. Get up to 25 Highway MPG and a 2014 Ram 1500 regular cab for just $21,999. Or save over $9,000 on a 2014 Ram quad cab. Start your adventure today in a 2015 Jeep Wrangler, just $27,999. Choose from more than 30 2015 Dodge Durangos now from $27,590. Just take the Altas Palmas exit on Expressway 83 in Harlingen and save at Bird Ogden Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Dale gas. Lax has entire housefuls of furniture for just $29.99. You get this 19-piece bedroom with a $500 mattress set allowance, this 7-piece living room, and 5-piece dining set. Save over $1,020 now at Lax. Breaking new developments in what's being dubbed Deflate Gate. 
ESPN says 11 of the 12 footballs used by the Patriots on Sunday were underinflated. The Colts accused the Patriots of playing with those partially deflated footballs. Sources say this isn't the first time the Colts have made those accusations. Yeah, the Colts reportedly expressed similar concerns in November. Today, there's new audio that surfaced of Patriots Tom Brady saying he likes deflated footballs. This made during an interview with a Boston radio station four years ago. Take a listen. Don't you spike it every time you score? Yeah, it's, which happens like once every three years. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, when Gronk scores, is it like eight touchdowns a year? He spikes the ball and he deflates the ball, which I love that because I like, you know, the deflated ball. But the NFL is investigating. It's not looking into Brady's statements. It's focusing on everything that happened on Sunday. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has a story for us at five. So-called deflate gate heating up. NFL sources telling ESPN that in Sunday's game that has the New England Patriots Super Bowl bound, 11 of the team's 12 game balls were underinflated by two pounds per square inch. The softer football is easier to handle and perhaps would lead to increased offensive efficiency for the Patriots. While on offense, each team uses their own footballs, which are allowed to be doctored slightly, but they then have to be inspected and approved by a referee before the game. After that, no alterations are allowed. But late in the second quarter of Sunday's AFC Championship game, the Indianapolis Colts reportedly grew suspicious. According to Newsday, following this interception, Colts linebacker Dequell Jackson gave the ball to a member of his team's equipment staff. Soon after, the ref switched out the ball and the Patriots went on to win 45 to 7. We don't know who deflated the balls, but if it comes out that it was the Patriots, then you know, Bill Belichick obviously looks for every angle. Cheating allegations are nothing new for Patriots coach Bill Belichick. In 2007, the league fined him for videotaping an opponent's sideline signals during a game. And now new accusations with Super Bowl 49 less than two weeks away. Patriots will be on the field next Sunday taking on the Seattle Seahawks, regardless of what the punishment is. And analysts say if the Patriots are punished, it would likely be in the form of a fine or they could have to give up one of their future draft picks. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York. Across the valley tomorrow, things are going to change. We'll start warm in the morning, but as the day goes on, temperatures will fall behind the front. By tomorrow evening, we're in the 50s. Some places are already the 40s by tomorrow night with a chance of some rain showing up. We'll check that forecast for seven days when we come back. El Pollo Loco's under 500 calories entrees are loaded with flavor, like our chicken and shrimp tostada. But they're also low calorie, like our chicken and kale salad. They're more and less at, at the, the same, same time. time. Try our new under 500 calories menu, El Pollo Loco. Crazy you can taste. How do older adults and people with disabilities find help with long-term care? With one free call, 1-855-937-2372. Talk to a trained professional and get connected to services like nursing care and help around the house. Roll into the new year in a new Nissan. <laughs> During Nissan's 2015 event, choose from 15 models with 0% financing for up to 60 months, plus up to 3,500 cash back, or get 0% APR on Rogue for up to 36 months. But hurry, the excitement may last, but 0% on 15 models won't. Shop at your local Nissan store or choose Nissan.com. Innovation that excites. Drive a 2015 BMW 320i for just $239 per month with no cost maintenance included for up to four years or 50,000 miles. Get your ultimate driving machine at Bird Ogden BMW in McAllen. Wells of Westlaco final inventory reduction sale starts tomorrow. Savings of 50% to 75% throughout the store only at Wells of Westlaco. I'm Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. Do you have the KRGB weather app? It's interactive. You can track storms headed right towards your neighborhood with live radar. In fact, you can check the weather for any place you want. Check out the 10-day forecast. One touch delivers hour-by-hour -hour weather. You can see video forecast and even submit your very own weather photos. It's the fast way to get your official forecast. Download the free app available for Android and iOS devices. Supported by McDonald's, Payne Auto Group, Plains Capital Bank, and Shaw Eye Center. 
El Pollo Loco's Three Course Family Middle Comes with your choice of a super salad, like our corn chowder or Mexican cob, and new chocolate churros, which sort of makes you the jefe. But you still can't man the grill. New eight-piece three course family meal. El Pollo Loco, crazy you can taste. Showers are isolated, but they're out there. Take a look at the first one five Doppler network and you can see one shower that's popped up right on the coast on the mainland. There you see it uh, right near the Cameron County Airport near Bayview, Laguna Vista, Laguna Heights. Also a little shower on the island. Things are going to change tomorrow. Front comes in in the afternoon. A little rain breaks out and then temperatures fall by Friday. No warmer than the 50s with lows. Look at Friday night's lows in the 30s. But then we bounce back. I think that's our last sh shot at rain for a while. Sunshine, at least some for the weekend. An update at six. Coming up on Channel 5 News at 6. A uh, Rio Grande City man is heading to prison for what he did to a Border Patrol agent. We're breaking down the crime in 30 minutes. Also, an audit report shows how much money came in and how much was spent by McAllen Business accused of defrauding foreign investors. Those numbers in 30 minutes. But right now... Yes, you can almost hide behind this. A thank you to the City of Mission and Walmart for the invitation to join them this morning for the grand opening of Walmart's new neighborhood market right there on the corner of Bryan Road and Old Business 83. Going to show you some students now. Yeah, these kids from Bryan Elementary School, they were part of the program this morning. It was fun and many thanks uh, to everyone there and thanks for the gift basket. What do you think about those Walmart markets? They're 24 hours, pretty fancy. They, uh, you know, they are nice, <laughs> convenient, Maybe they're the new uh, convenience store for the 21st century. There we go. What's even nicer sitting next to this man. We'll be back at 5 tomorrow. <laughs> Have yourself a great evening. Be safe. Bye-bye. Uh. Closed captioning brought to you by Channel 5 and Clark Chevrolet McAllen. Looking for designer glasses? Get Coach, Fendi, Armani, and many more for the best prices at iMart Express. Or choose two complete pairs, frames, and lenses for $49. Two pairs with no-line bifocals for $99, all with a free one-year warranty. And you can wear your glasses today. We'll text you when they're ready. You get a lot more for less at iMart Express. Most insurance accepted. In Brownsville next to Target and in McAllen next to Applebee's in front of Burlington Coat Factory. What if I told you affordable luxury is not a myth? Did you know that at Bird Ogden Infinity in Denver, you can get luxury, performance, safety, and affordability too. Like the 2015 Infiniti Q40 for just $279 per month. With luxury cars for less than $300 per month, you owe it to yourself to stop in today. Find affordable luxury with world-class style and exceptional service at Bird Ogden Infinity in Edinburgh. Dalegas. Thank you, Rio Grande Valley, for making KRGV Channel 5 News number one. From morning until night, more people depend on Channel 5 News than any other station in the valley. Number one. 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 And we thank you. You're watching KRGV, Channel 5, Westlaco. On this Wednesday night, the breaking developments right here in Havana, Cuba. A historic day and what's coming next. Tonight, new details inside the talks between the U.S. and Cuba. The first disagreement here as both sides push for diplomatic ties the first time since the Cold War. The mystery Russian spy ship that pulled into port here. The U.S. Coast Guard tonight now patrolling off Florida for Cuban refugees. And of course, the American cars right here from the 1950s. Back home before the Super Bowl, the Super scandal tonight. The new report, what it reveals about those footballs, did the Patriots cheat? The new storm coming, will it turn into a nor'easter? Ginger Z is standing by. And the royal mess tonight, the headline breaking now about the newest sex scandal, what they've revealed, and the prominent Americans caught in the middle of it. From ABC News, this is a special edition of World News Tonight with David Muir, reporting tonight from Havana, Cuba.
Good evening tonight as we come to you live from the heart of historic Havana, where history has been made yet again. The U.S. and Cuba and the first talks of this magnitude since the Cold War. We've learned the first meeting about three and a half hours today, and tonight, as we're on the air, the highest-ranking U.S. official to visit this country in more than 30 years, now here to restore diplomatic relations. Less than 24 hours ago, the president in the State of the Union saying this year, Congress should begin the work of ending the embargo, and the Cubans here were watching. We've learned this was the first year here in Cuba they could watch the speech in its entirety. President Castro's team telling me tonight when they heard those words, it was like music to their ears. And tonight, we're apparently not the only visitors. A big mystery, the Russian spy ship that just arrived. We're asking tonight, coincidence or something more? And of course, the American cars from the 1950s. How do they keep them running here? But we begin tonight with new details inside the historic talks. Early this morning, we flew into Havana, Cuba, just 90 miles from...